So here's how it works. The derivative transforms vectors of rates of change of inputs to vectors of rates of change of outputs. This is what a linear transformation is supposed to do, and in the context of a derivative, we're working with rates of change. Now, let's think about this in the context of things that we have looked at in the past, say uh, curves and surfaces. Consider a parametrized curve in three-dimensional space. If I look at the derivative of that function, that gives us a, a vector tangent to the curve, the velocity vector. But I can think of that derivative in terms of a linear transformation by saying, what happens if I change the input at certain rates? If I move forward, if I move backward, well, that vector captures that via a linear transformation. Now, if I move to the case of a parametrized surface in 3D, now I have two inputs. And if I change each of those inputs at a certain rate, that gives me a pair of vectors based at the output point on the surface. What happens if I'm changing the inputs at any arbitrary set of rates? Well, that's a vector, and I can use vector addition to represent that and the derivative becomes a linear transformation that takes the vector of rates of change of inputs to a vector of rates of change of outputs.